So finally, we're going to do the wing risers, and I have my helper over here. Come forward, so you see. So this is Sebastian. You've seen him on the channel before. He's going to help me do this. So the wing risers basically get this wing, keep the similar position, just lift it up, makes it look a lot more exotic, more sporty. Kind of looks like the GT3 RS because these are kind of like the metal risers. So I'll show you the parts we've got, show you the tools you need, and we'll take this off together, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing we need to do is take this part of the wing off so we can access the risers. This takes two people. It's not heavy, but just so you don't drop it. We'll, uh, we'll back off the bolts, we'll loosen them. We'll show you what bolts are, are gonna come loose, and then you can hold one end and I'll take it off. And I'll do the right. Yeah, feel good? Mm -hmm. Think we can do it? Mm -hmm. By the way, look, he's wearing the S2000 shirt. I've got the LHT Colorado shirt on. And it's one of those sizes there. It's one of those like stars. Just take it out and put it in there and see which one fits. Put this one on the floor so we don't drop it on the car. So we are not in the shop today. We are on location in my garage. As you see, there's laundry stuff behind me because that's what I have at the house. So this is the brand I went with. There's a lot of choices out there. There is a bunch of them that are just like extensions and you kind of put bolts on the factory ones and lift them up and there's like a little connection. I've seen those up close. I don't really like the way they look. These, when you see them in person, I was lucky enough to see them on Matt's car. And these are like probably the best there is. I mean, they're expensive, but when you see them, you understand why. So I'll do like a quick unboxing and show you what comes in the box and get some close-up shots so you can see the quality. Then we'll start taking that off. So like I mentioned, this is like the best one there is. Obviously there is a lot of options out there. You know that? Yeah. Gonna give that to your sister, give us something to do. Yeah. So, nice box that it comes in. Presentation is always a big thing, I think. So, magnetic little flapper here. So we have a little video guide. You scan that with your phone, there is a video, an install video. Also instructions right here. Basically gives you a how-to. That's pretty handy. Shows you the tools you need, the things that you take off, parts. We'll see what parts it comes with. I believe it comes with everything you need. So we've got bags. Each one of them is marked. We have tools. We have right. What does that one say? Left. So this is probably... That feels kind of thin. That's the piece that goes down. Uh, this is the main riser itself, right and left. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh. Packing. More packing. More packing. Okay, so that is everything out of the box. We don't need that. Keep that out. We don't need that. Give that to your sister. Tell her don't come in here and pop it. That don't make for a good video the whole time. So what is cool is they give you the parts and they also give you some tools, which I think this is just like a little uh, prying tool to get some of the pieces off that need to be removed. Some of the parts are uh, double-sided. So we'll take a look at these. We'll take a look at each one of these. This is obviously the piece that goes down onto the trunk lid. And this is the riser part itself. I'm excited to see this stuff. I really am. But this is kind of what it looks like right here. This is the official does everything tool. Look at that, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. Screwdriver bits, it's got the wrench, it's got a light on it too, right? Yeah. How do you get the light going? Look at that, even got a light. All right, so let's be careful with this. Probably tools on there. Yeah, That's wait. What it says. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let me do this so we don't cut the tool. So we go. Feel over here, there's nothing there. Because that would suck to find out there's a tube of glue in there and I cut through it, right? Yeah. So let's just do this. There's a light. How did that come on? And that one. Oh. All right, let's see what we've got for tools. So there we go, look at that. We've got some nice scrapers and pry bars, basically to help you get some of those pieces off. Looks like a shovel. It does us for if you live in a snowy climate. Yes. It's just digging. So this is the little flat piece, which is right there. That's a pretty sharp knife. Mm -hmm. You won't kidding. All right, so there's the first piece. This is left. Let's, to make sure we don't do this twice, let's make sure we keep these on the bag, right? 
That way we don't start to do this and figure out we've got them wrong. These are nice pieces. This yeah. is an aluminum machined. That's a feel that. That's a nice piece. That's metal. Yeah. I thought they were plastic. No, it looks plastic, but it's it's metal. It looks like it's cast, but it's super nice finish. If you can see that, they are super nice quality. All right, this we definitely don't want to scratch. So let me uh, do this. This is the one I'm excited about. This is like the nicest quality of pieces. And again, these are beautiful. They're nicely anodized. They've got the nice chamfer in. Yeah, this is gonna, that's gonna lift that up probably about that much. These should make a big difference. Awesome. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. So again, let's make sure we don't mix these up. So we'll put that on the left, this on the right. You got a bag on there. That one was the one that the tools came out. So again, the other side right here. So we'll keep this stuff together. So now we know what this looks like. We can start taking the factory ones off. We're gonna take the wing off first, which is where we're both gonna to need to be extra careful when we get it loose. We don't wanna drop it on the car. Also, what we're gonna to need to do is go get some real nice blankets or towels. Okay. Don't, don't let your mom see. We'll lay them out and then we'll put the wing on that. Get something like nothing white. Yeah. I guess I mean that. <laughs> there we go. That should work. It's nice and soft and squishy, right? Yeah. That's not your mom's favorite blanket, is it? No, I stole it from her. <laughs> you stole it from her, so it's kind of your blanket. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get the camera positioned and see what we need. So you already found the one for this, mm -hmm. and what is on the other side of it? Uh, it looks like a star on the other side too. So find the one for this side too. This is a smaller one. I know you already pulled the big one out. So you have the one for this side. Perfect. That's it. All right, so the pieces that we're taking off, just make sure that that fits and I'm gonna have to break loose the other side. Don't try and turn it yet. So these have to come off. This is the piece that we need, the little pry tool. Well, this is something I've noticed. It seems like it has the factory. These always come off. This one's already lifting off. In fact, this one's, this one will come off really easy, look. <laughs> this one's lifting. So that will be easy. Uh, we've got to make sure we remove this riser first. But the other one, hopefully that one comes off just mm -hmm. as easy. So we've got to break these loose and then we'll support the wing and lift it off. So let's get those broke loose first and then we'll tag team that wing and get it off. Just hold it still, I will turn this side, okay? Make sure you don't drop it, keep two hands on it. Ready? Okay, so take it take all the way to about now. there. Then the other one, the one in the front. We'll leave it loose, then we can take it by hand. You ready? All right, let's go do the other side. Same again, you on the inside. You good? I can feel the air conditioner here. Yeah. I so I got I got the door open and the fan blown out here. Because the garage is about 110 degrees. Oops. You fall off there? Yeah. Make sure it's square. There you go. So that's actually nice working on this side of the car, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, that one's almost loose. Let's do the front one. Alright, so you support it? Yeah. Alright, this is uh finger tight. All right, you see we got the front one loose so you can you, you can let it kind of sit down there Once I take the back one out, it's going to be loose Yeah All right, let me I'm holding it on my All right, ready? Let's go put it on that nice tuck. Feel how light this is? Yeah This is like super light I thought this would be heavier, the obvious So this is the hardware that comes off. It's kind of like a a bolt and a back end bolt and then four spacers so it's always good to look at those and kind of just double check that you've got them all before you go too far if you dropped one on the floor now's a good time to find that out before we go too far let's put that over that side you don't need to put them in there we're good we can see them 
So this is the piece off already. This one's almost ready to come off. Uh oh, we have a problem in the house. That doesn't sound good. You wanna go ahead and take care of that, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody will even know the baby's crying. <laughs> so this is almost off, look. I wanna do one. See, that's the tape that usually sucks to get off. And it's pushed that forward nice and gently. So we have tape on here, and I'm using the first pry bar to put it against the tape, and that way just gently put a little bit of pressure. So if you get your fingers under that and just pry it a little bit at a time, you'll feel the tape kind of start to break loose. Can you feel it? Well, See, it comes off pretty easy. You just gotta be careful not to pull it against the paint. So that's why you put the tape on here. So if you wanna... I don't wanna get this off. You got the other one off, right? So the tape is kind of holding it. Let me get on the other side so we can get some light behind me. It's not the best lighting in here. We get it? Nice. Good job, dude. Nice. So now we have to open the hatch and get these pieces off. They have the little rubber gasket in there and they're bolted from the inside of the hatch. So let's go ahead and open it. All right, so these are the three that attach the riser to the deck lid. So this is the same size that we use for the larger one. I think it's a T30. So these are probably the ones that are Loctite on there. We were talking about. So we feel like they're Loctite. So we have three on each side. So this is our third one to come out right here. So that's kind of weird. Looks like the insert came out of that one. Look at that, it's like a double thread. So this is a really stupid design. You Porsche guys are gonna hate me because I'm telling you it's stupid. This here sticks on here with double side glue, which, okay, I get it, but it's kind of stupid. So this glues on here like that and then this clips on there that you use the pry tools to get it off does that not make any sense why clip to something that's glued why not make this piece pick up these holes somehow and just clip on there why have it clipped to something that glue that's stupid so i took these out one of the thread inserts came out which probably means the bolt isn't going to go back on so this wing riser should be loose now and it should come out if all is well if those threads didn't come out as well all right so this is the riser from the right well it looked like there was an insert that came out which you can see how that has that like little larger piece of thread on there is that showing up there well, it came out of there. As you see, if I take a bolt that doesn't have that piece on, it doesn't have any thread in there. It's like a, a time cert. So that came out with this, which means it's not gonna go back on the aftermarket riser. I'm gonna have to either change the bolt or maybe cut that off. All right, so this is the left one. As you see, that insert started to come out too. It didn't come out all the way which means either they're not loctited in or they're not put in properly or there isn't some kind of shoulder to stop it back and out but that kind of grabs when you're trying to take this thing out you see this one is fine this one is backed out this one is sitting up here and again just even though it's a Porsche Porsche are a very good quality product but there's still issues with everything this is just I don't know why they do this why this isn't, just isn't threaded straight into the aluminum uh, like this piece, like the replacement piece. This is a much better design. So I can get all three bolts in this side, but as you see, that insert is starting to come out. Now what I could do is put the bolt in here and tighten it all the way. You see that? All right, with a little bit of back and forth, this was the insert we managed to get off. I ran it in and out a couple of times, so it's nice. We'll lock tight it in there in the event we uh, put these back on which we will put them back on when we sell it but just not right now so I'm using a little bit of goo gone stuff right here 
on the sticky stuff you just dab it on there let it soak it's uh, it works pretty good you don't want to douse it on there it'll run everywhere but while that soaks my wife just made me some cheese on toast so I'm gonna eat that while it soaks thank you so much there. look at that there is a snake is, a snake. Uh, is it a real snake? It's a black racer. Sorry, I just that is not. He was up here on this part of this. Oh, you gotta go get it. He was uh, uh. he was hunting lizards, obviously. Sebastian, go get it. <gasps> no. Go get it. Don't bite. Don't tell him to do that. I'm just kidding. Why did that up? All right, so it is gonna fit in the slot. Let's open this hatch a little bit. I'll hold it about there. If you can be careful, put it in there, line it up, and then the bolts. Are gonna come in through these holes. Can you hold the hatch so it doesn't open? You got it? So keep a hold of it. I will get this started on my... I'll use the extension right here. See which way the letters go? Yeah, I'll hold the hatch. The hatch wants to open all the time. <laughs> so just be careful you don't scratch the metal on the way down. Just nice and careful. And then just lower it down. And then we'll put the wing on. We'll leave these uh, uprights loose. You can go down a little bit faster than that. <laughs> so there you go. Just let it sit there. So we've got the risers loose right now. So what we'll do is let's put this all the way down to the first click. Go ahead and push it down. It'll go to one click and then it shouldn't open. There we go. So these are loose. We should be able to position the wing. All right, so we'll put the towel on the back. That way we can lay them out ready. Put two on each side with two spacers on each side. And that way it'll make it, we'll make it ready to put together. So take them apart too, so they're easier to put on there. Do it left-handed right here. You got yours put aside? All the pulled apart? Nice, good job. Organize them so we can see what we have going on right here so let's set the camera up and let's put the wing on so let's look at these right here so okay they go from the outside going in oh, you see no. that we need to this rewind. this goes through this way and then this piece goes on that then that spacer is going to go around it there is more downfalls and less downfalls so it just depends on which hole we put it in what downforce do you want so you hold hold your side have you got it yeah. So I think this goes on the inside of those with the spacer. So I'll tell you what, if you just hold that in position, let me get mine in first, and then I'll help you get y'all's put in there, okay? Yeah. So we're going to go, they fall out there pretty easy. So let's do that, put the spacer. Let's get it lined up there. Do one more down for us? No, not yet. Let's just get the front one started. That way we're not going to worry about it falling. Let me get mine started. Just hold yours where it is. You got it? Good. You got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then lower it together. And then make sure your other one starts. Yeah. That's it. Nice. Look how much better that looks. That's a huge difference. That looks great. That's huge. That is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get this like tight. That is so much nicer. Yeah. That makes a drastic difference. <laughs> Once this is all tightened up, we have to glue these down, which is basically just pull the double-sided off there, and then uh, we'll give it a wash, I think. Yeah. You know what you're doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, be very careful. Either way around. Ratchet goes on the outside. Just be careful that you don't drop it on the car. Do you want me to hold one of them or have you got it? Can you hold this one? Which one? That's right, let me hold this one because this one falls apart. I'll hold this one and then you can twist the screwdriver one. You got it? Let me twist mine too. You hold yours still. Let's give it a quick snug. You alright holding it? Alright. Now do the front one. Nice and careful. Feel it? You good? Alright, you hold yours still. I'll turn my ratchet. Still got all kinds of background noise, you hear that? 
Yeah. Got babies crying in the background. Yeah. Dogs barking. Oh. Car horns. All kinds of background noise. I'll try to edit that out, but I don't think my program is that sophisticated. It says background, and then you click on it, and it says yes. Do you want to take it away or put it back in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's that good. Yeah. You ready? All right, I'll turn my end, okay? It's about tight already. Let's give it a quick snug. Do we want this? You can hold it by the towel. You want to hold it right there? It shouldn't open as fast now. It has the weight of the wing because it's balanced. When you uh, took the wing off, it wanted to open faster. It, wanted to open, it just wanted to go up. It did. It sprung open, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, now it's balanced for the weight of the wing. I can put my hand on it and just yeah. slow down. Yeah, before you have to put your chin on it too. Open it just a little bit so I'm not close to the wrench. There we go. Before I did, yes. Yeah, it wanted to take off. Yes, it wanted to go in outer space. You did. You are? Is it a secret? It's like a secret, but kind of tell everyone it is at the same time. Yeah, she's right. telling everybody. <laughs> everybody in the family. Everybody's like, shh, she's doing something secret. Don't look over here. <laughs> get my wrench on here, I'm not looking properly. All right, let's get this tight and then we'll glue those pieces down. All right, so we've got the stupid snap covers with a bit of glue. I'm gonna clean that off right there. Let me hit that with a little bit of wax. So go ahead and close it. Let's see what that looks like. Should close much easier now too. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna wash it. Yes. Does that, does that look good or what? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Um, I wanna take it outside and give it a nice wash. Then we'll get some good open pictures of it. Cause in here, the light in it isn't very good. I've got the LED panel right there and the garage door lights. And the camera doesn't quite know what to do. Pretty easy installed. I think it makes a big difference. Really makes the car look a little bit more exotic, I think. I'm happy with it. Guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Don't forget, enjoy your cars. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. All that good stuff. Support the channel. Buy some merch in the LHT store. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, enjoy your cars.